Air Jordans, Air Bud, Air Fat French Fries. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Megan Mitchell and I'm here in the Thrive Market Test Kitchen and today I'm gonna to show you how to use an air fryer. I'm gonna make duck fat french fries. It just uses a little bit of duck fat and they're so good. Can't wait to show you, but before I get started, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're wondering what Thrive Market is, it's an online market that sells organic and non-GMO products straight to your door in duck fat. So, that's pretty neat. All right, let's get started on this recipe. I have two Yukon Gold potatoes in front of me, but five total. And I'm gonna just peel and then slice them into one fourth inch thick sticks. That's the only way to describe it. Um, if you've never used an air fryer, I actually did another video. Uh, I made chicken wings and they were insane. But it's this machine right here. It circulates the air at a super high temp so things get nice and crispy without having a huge pot of oil and it's a little healthier, right? Peel your potatoes. You can do this with russets if you want. I love Yukon Gold, so I wanted to use these. They're just good. Okie dokie. Throw away your peels. Do not put them down the garbage disposal. I've made that mistake before and it messes up your garbage disposal. Real good. And I have them soaking in cold water, one, to keep them from oxidizing, and it also helps release some of the starches so they get nice and crispy. So let them soak for about 30 minutes. So I'll cut off this end. Not nice and steady for me. Just cut this guy in half. Pop in the water. And then this, this. The thinner you cut them, the quicker they'll cook. Into the pool, kids. Let's go. I'm gonna let these soak for about 30 minutes and then I'll pat them dry. So come back in 30 minutes. I'll see you soon. I'm just gonna be here staring at my naders. My potatoes have soaked for 30 minutes. I have a clean dish towel. I'm just gonna take these out and dry them off because these go in like this, they'll just steam. Nobody likes a soggy fry. All right, really pat them dry as much as possible. Those look dry. All right, grab a clean bowl. And I am gonna only do half of these fries at a time because that's it's a tiny little fryer. So I'm gonna do one batch and I'm gonna do another batch. So in a bowl, and then I'm using one tablespoon of epic duck fat. I love duck fat. If you've never had it, it just adds like a crazy different flavor to your fries. It's, it's unbeatable and I think you should give it a try. It's delicious. And I'm on, like I said, I'm only using a tablespoon instead of deep frying these. And it just coats them in this, I don't know, it's kind of like a duck, like fat meets broth. Like it has an umami flavor and it's just so good. And then I'm using flaky sea salt because I like that little crunch when I bite into the fry. Toss together. And don't skimp on the salt. Let me show you how I put these fries in the basket. So open this up, this is off. So it comes with a tray like this and it comes with a basket. Just pour them. And then we want them in a flat, even layer. Not touching, not crowded, not on top of each other. I'm gonna do one more sprinkle of salt. You could do, at this point, you could do like seasoning salt or you could do rosemary. You could do whatever flavor you want. Possibilities are endless. Alrighty, pop these in. And then for this, I want it at 370 degrees. Make sure it's on air fry. And I wanna do this for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna remove them, flip them and do them for eight to 10 minutes more. Keep an eye on them because you don't want them to burn. <laughs> that might happen, so just keep an eye on them. All right, these have fried, these have air fried for 10 minutes. So I wanna carefully remove this and I wanna flip all of these over. You can see how golden brown they are, but sometimes they're bottoms, their high knees aren't. So just go in and give them a little flippy floop. All right, these have all been flipped. I can get it. All right, put it back in and fry these 
for five to 10 minutes more. It really depends on your air fryer. There are different types. There's a round one, there's this one. So they all vary. So just kind of pop them in for five minutes, keep an eye on them. If they start to get dark, pull them out. It's just a game of trial and error. Is that the saying? It's, not, it's a saying now. Let's go. My duck fat fries are ready. Come on, these look insane. All right, carefully. I have my first batch here. This is my second batch. Usually this isn't here because I eat them before this one's ready. Look at those. What? These do need to be eaten quite quickly. They don't stay crisp forever, but they're so good. And that duck fat just gives them such an intense, amazing flavor. Like I don't even need to dip these in anything because the duck fat is so good. That is not a soggy fry. I'm gonna garnish this with parsley. You don't need to, but why not? Another sprinkle of flaked sea salt. I'm gonna give one a try. It's hot. <laughs> it's tender on the inside, not dry at all. I get that great flavor from the duck fat and a little crunch from the salt. Oh man, these are dangerous. Because in my mind, I'm like, well, they're healthier. It's only like a tablespoon or two of duck fat. I can eat the whole thing. These are so good. I hope you give them a try. If you have an air fryer, what do you like to make in it? I'd love some recipes because I got one now <laughs> and I need to know how to use it. And you can find all the products that I used at thrivemarket.com slash prep school. Happy air frying, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. Working on my night cheese.